The reason why most of us, so Nigeria Philippine vloggers, the reason why we talk about Philippines is because Real. all this pandemic is already tough. Welcome back again to another video. If it's the first time of coming across my channel, my name is Ruth. I'm a final year student currently living and studying here in the Philippines. And you are most welcome to Nurse Ruth Nook. On this channel, I talk about nursing, I talk about my life here in the Philippines, and once in a while, I bring in guests for them to also share their experience and what they think about the Philippines. So, if you like what you are seeing already please you can go ahead to subscribe to this channel and please remember to turn on your post notification bell that says all so you'll be notified anytime i drop a new video for my old g's thank you so much guys for always clicking in i do not take you for granted i love you all so much as a matter of fact you guys are the reason why we have come this far so back to the main gist the reason why i'm making this video is to address some issues from i don't know maybe i'll call them haters in quotes those that like that derive joy happiness in making other people sad they derive so much joy in dropping ugly negative comments on people's video. There is this video I made some time ago. The title of the video is uh, Philippines is not what people think it is. I'm going to link it up here. Please do all well to watch the video after now. That video so far has gotten quite a number of views. And I've been receiving some ugly negative comments. From that video and from other of my videos, normally I'm not touched or moved by negative comments because most times I don't even get to see these comments. Sometimes when I log into my YouTube, because sometimes I log out of YouTube because of school and busy things, you know. So, but when I log into my YouTube again, when I start receiving notifications and maybe I get notification of, of some comments, if I click on some of those ugly comments, I'll just be told the comment is no longer available. So it's either the person that dropped the comment deleted it or YouTube deleted it because YouTube have rules. There are some ugly negative comments you will drop on people's video. Before that person will get to read it, YouTube will delete it. Whichever way, if you know you are that type of person that like dropping comments, negative comments on people's video ask yourself what do you really gain like what do you gain from dropping such comments when you click on a video and you don't like the content what you just saw you are free to thumbs down the video for me i am not moved by the number of likes even though i like you to like give my video a thumbs up truth be told but it's okay if you don't like it don't give a thumbs up if you are still not satisfied, uh, maybe you are the bitter type, you are still not satisfied, you can give the video a thumbs down. That is why YouTube gave a thumbs up and a thumbs down. So whichever you choose, I am okay with it. Or maybe you don't even like a video, even though you are not a bitter person. It's okay to thumbs down the video instead of leaving ugly negative comments on people's video. For some of these people that leave negative comments, ugly comments on people's videos, sometimes when the comment is still there, if I have time for you, I respond to them the way they want it. You understand? And sometimes I don't even bother to waste my energy on those that are looking for attention. I will either delete and ignore their comments. So the main reason why I'm making this video is for this particular hater, this particular bitter soul. This person dropped the first comment in this said video. After some days, she came back because there is a lady's picture in that um, in the profile of the commenter. After some days, this person, this same name, I'm not going to be mentioning the name because I don't even want you to get attention. And the reason why I'm not even going to mention the name, I don't know if you disguised yourself, but I'm delivering a message to you. And I know if you see this video, you know yourself. So this particular person also dropped 
another comment after some days talking about clickbaiting like do you really know the meaning of clickbaiting and the one that really got to my head like the one that really the statement that she left that really got to me from this same person that i really had to respond and i decided to make a video I address this once and for all the person did not just drop negative comments after dropping the first one came back some days again because he or she has seen that the video is getting views and all that, I don't know what the bitterness of that person is. You are not subscribed because if you are subscribed, you will not be telling others to leave. You understand? Okay, you are not even my subscriber. You are just a hater. And you also went further to start telling my subscribers to do what? When I saw that particular message again in another form, I was really not happy. I put my efforts to make content. So do other content creators. You think it's easy to make content, to think about it, to film the video, edit and put it out. If you think it's easy, why don't you open your channel so you see what we pass through before we put out a content. By the grace of God, my channel is growing gradually thanks to all my genuine subscribers and supporters. Then you, one bitter soul, we come and be telling people on the comment section to leave my channel to do this. Like what do you stand to gain? When I see my channel day to day, I click on it to know how far the channel is going, the comments to reply and all those things. It gives me joy. So if you, because you are a hater, because you don't like anything good, because you don't want happiness, you don't like seeing people grow, you don't like seeing people moving forward, you want to now come to my channel to spoil what I have been building by God's grace through the help of my genuine subscribers. One thing is sure, and that is karma. Karma is so real. Ask yourself, what have I done to you? Have I ever wronged you? I don't know you. I am only making videos and putting out content. Sharing my experience in the Philippines. Is that what you call clickbaiting? Like, do you really know? Those of you that shout clickbait, clickbait. Do you really know the meaning of clickbaiting? If you know the meaning of clickbait, you will not be dropping comments in most of our videos that you are clickbaiting. And they will also go ahead to leave more negative and foul comments on someone's video. This is a channel, this is something that means a lot to me. It's part of what gives me joy and happiness. As far as I don't know, you have not done any wrong to you and you want to do me wrong to bring my channel down. That thing will go back to you. Whatsoever you hold dear, if you have a channel or you don't have, but what you hold dear that gives you joy, what you wish me, I'm wishing it back to you. So that's what we call, I wish you the same, you understand? When you tell someone, when you wish somebody something, and the person responds, I wish you the same. So it means, if you are wishing me good, I wish you the same, that good will come back to you. If you also wish me bad, I wish you the same, and it will go back in triple fold to you. Not just a triple, but a thousand folds. You will receive it back. This is just a reminder. So also let most of you haters know that, this law of karma is something very clear and plain. When you wish someone good, good will come back to you in return. So when you wish someone bad, it will also come back to you in multiple return. That particular statement, I am telling you that the evil you wish for my channel, whatsoever is your intention, I am sending it back to you in a thousand fold. I am only here to make a reminder to that particular person. It's just a reminder because karma is real. It will really visit you and dish out your meal to you the way you deserve it. Then you will know that it is not good to wish people evil. Especially those that have not offended you in any way. You don't know them from Adam. You don't know them from Eve. Nothing. They've not done anything to you. You just decide to come and spoil their happiness, destroy what they are building with their sweat and efforts and even time. So I wish you all you wish me. You understand? So if you must know, the reason why most of us, Nigeria, Philippine vloggers, the reason why we talk about Philippines is because we are trying to create awareness to people about Philippines. We are sharing our experience here in the Philippines. 
Like me, when I was coming to Philippines, what I googled online about Philippines is not what I am seeing living here in the Philippines after five years. I know they have some of those things, but I'm telling you, at least in the Philippines, they have basic life amenities. Back where I am coming from, you cannot have constant light, electricity for so long. Since I came to this country five years, I can count how many times they have blinked the lights. It is not up to five times. So these are the things we share. So when I came here, seeing lights for so long, from days to weeks, weeks to months to years, electricity is always constant. It is just like something surprising to most of us. So that is why we share most of those things. Talking about my experience here as a student nurse and everything, is that what you call clickbaiting? Am I not living in the Philippines? Am I not a student? Don't I have experience here in the Philippines? So when I'm sharing it to viewers, to other foreigners, if you want to come, you can come to Philippines. It's okay. Give me creating awareness about Philippines. Is that what you go ahead to call clickbaiting? And I see if you are not satisfied, you went for that to start asking people to leave my home. It's only God that will judge you. I leave you to God. I really want to appreciate and thank all my genuine subscribers. Thank you guys so much. You are the reason why I am here. You are the reason why North Street Knock is still booming, you know. Thank you so much guys for your genuine love. For those that love and support North Street Nook genuinely. Thank you for always sticking around, for always sharing my video, for leaving good comments, positive comments. Leave good comments because the comments you leave on people's videos sometimes, you don't know the type of harm you cause to people. Say something nice to someone today, whether that person is a YouTuber, content creator, or that person is your, just say something nice to people. The world on its own with all this pandemic is already tough enough for its own so for someone to come and be making you feel bad leaving all sorts of foul and negative things to people you don't know the harm you are doing to people the world on its own like i said is already tough people are going through a lot so learn to drop good comments learn to tell someone something nice because that thing a word from your mouth can either kill or destroy Remember that even the Bible says that there is power in the tongue. So make good use of your tongue. Say things good to people. And also remember that the same Bible says there is no peace for the wicked. So if you want to cause someone harm, know that there is no peace for the wicked. And that was what I told that commenter. So make good use of your tongue. Say something nice to someone today. Say something good to people around you. And the world will be a better place. If you are living happily, I'm living happily. I wish you good. You wish me good. The world will be a better place. Please let love lead. So lovelies, I've come to the end of today's video. I did not really want to make this video, but I just have to make this to put things all right. I love you all my genuine subscribers. Thanks for the love and support. I cherish you all. I love you all from the bottom of my aorta. You all mean so much to me. And until I come your way next time, I remain your favorite nurse, Ruth. Stay safe always. Bye. <laughs> Walking alone the streets are empty The only thing I can see is my own two hands I'm getting stronger, step by step The clock is ticking but there's no time for me I've been flying from town to town Been all around the world Trying to protect your